I would like to introduce to you the world's most absurd clock, and I'm introducing it to you in order to explain coroutines, handlers, and runnable. So let's take a quick look at the layout that we are talking about. The layout we are talking about. So constraint layout, and we have the world's most absurd clock, just lets you know what's going on, and it's smack dab in the middle, and it it doesn't even align with uh, what's underneath it. And you can see what's underneath it. It's zero, zero, colon, zero, zero, colon, zero. And this is hours, minutes, and seconds. So all 30 SP. So hour is the display part of the hour. Then we have a colon. And, you know, the colon is never going to change. And this is all part of a packed chain. So that's why they're, they're, they're all next to each other and they're all packed up. And then uh, a minute and colon and second. So pretty simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to update each one of these fields and we're going to use either a coroutine or a handler. So the fields are second minute hour. That's the, those are the IDs. Uh, let's take a look. So here we are in main activity and it's an app compat activity. And um, Yeah, so, okay, so um, the thing we need to do in order to launch a coroutine is we need a scope from which to launch it. And the most basic scope is this main scope. So by saying that main activity inherits from coroutine scope, or is a coroutine scope, um, uh, this is a delegate, this is a... Uh, Okay, I got to look up exactly what's going on here. The by means that this is being initialized by main scope. And main scope is um, a way of having a coroutine that runs with the main dispatcher and has a job that you can control it with. So everything, a, a coroutine has two things. One, it has a dispatcher, and that dispatcher is either main for the main thread, default for a background thread, which is very possibly not on the main thread and not even on the main processor. And then for an IO device, like network or file system, those are the dispatchers. And then it has a job, meaning uh, sort of a control object that, so this is the scope, the main scope, and the uh, uh, job allows you to cancel outstanding coroutines. That's what the, the job, so there's a, there's a, dispatcher, which says where the coroutines run, and there's a job which lets you control them. And in fact, we saw even some previous versions, you know, when you launch, this actually returns a job. And so if you want to cancel just this coroutine, this cancels all coroutines associated with the scope. The scope is main scope. Main scope means the scope for this whole activity in this case. So all of the coroutines are scoped to this activity, which makes sense. So if the activity goes away, we want all the coroutines to go away. And if there were particular coroutines we wanted to kill, we, we could uh, yeah, do some sort of like val uh, job this. All right, we say, what is a job? A job is a, uh, well, it's a, a job, job. Yeah, it's, it's a type job, and you can look that up. Uh, that has, you know, you can get the children of the job. You can figure out if the job is still active. You can cancel the job. That's how you control coroutines. Okay, so let's go back to the top here. So, okay, so coroutines, main, default, IO. We're going to do main. This is an inner class to handle the minute. We're going to talk about this in, in, in a minute. Uh, this is the handler. But first, uh, let's talk about the coroutine. So, yeah, coroutine needs a, a scope. 
and the scope is provided by main scope, which is like a built in thing that, um, you know, we're initializing our main activity with main scope. We need to provide this on destroy method where you're going to uh, cancel all the outstanding coroutines. Let's uh, leave this. This goes with the inner class for now. All right, so let's take a look here. So this update loop, this is while true, we could do, you know, while uh, is active, that would probably be better. So this is a suspend. And any function that has the suspend modifier means it has to be called in a coroutine. So we're expecting to call this in a coroutine. And this is a common idiom we have for coroutines, which is basically a thread that controls part of the UI. And it's sort of large and in charge for that part of the UI. So what part of the UI? Well, we're passing it a text view. We're passing it an enum, which tells it hours, minutes, or seconds. And we're passing it some time delay. And what's going on? Well, we're just going to loop forever. And this is, again, the nice thing about coroutines is that thinking about them is very easy for certain kinds of tasks. They're just a thread of control that runs forever. So while this thing is active, meaning cancel hasn't been called, I'm going to say on the main uh, thread, do the following. Grab the text property of this text view and write a two-digit version of whatever I was told to write, whether it's the minutes, seconds, or hours. So I'm going to calendar.getInstance is basically a, a way of finding the current time. And then I am finding the current seconds, minutes, or hours. And I'm writing that into the string, which is being written into this text view. And then I'm just delaying so that I don't overload the CPU. There's no reason for me to do this you know, 25 times a millisecond. There's no reason for that. So, uh, right, so how is this called? Well, let's uh, down here in onCreate where we have this sort of standard onCreate stuff. We also have this launch and we can just launch this because we have a coroutine scope that's provided by the activity and we're calling update loop and we're telling, Hey, we want you to update the seconds and that's calendar dot second. And that's just a, it's just a constant. And we're telling you to do it every 200 milliseconds. So how did I choose this? I just thought like I want it to be faster than every second because otherwise it will look sort of jerky. And, you know, a fifth of a second seems like fine. It would probably, you probably wouldn't notice anything weird if, if I made that, if I doubled it to 400. You, know, you probably don't want to go above half a second because then it might, might seem kind of glitchy. But I just sort of picked this number out of a hat. But you get that this is saying, what this is saying by calling update loop, you're saying up this, this second is from the, uh, from the content main. It's a text view object. Second. So it's a, it's a, it's, it's a text view object. So we're saying in this text view, update the text to calendar dot second every 200 milliseconds. And similarly down here, we're doing the same thing for hour, except we're telling it update every second, which seems more than adequate. So when the hour pops over, the 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 hour change might might take up to a second. I figured that's okay. Again, these numbers are, are sort of just chosen out of out of thin air. All right, so that's th th that's it. So this launches a coroutine. That coroutine basically just runs forever because that's all this uh, application does. All right, so that's going to update this, which is the hours, ID hour, and it's going to update this, which is ID second. And, oh, you know, I would do the uh, find uh, um, find usages. So I did find usages. I realized that uh, uh, OBS does not capture the menus because those are considered different windows so that's pretty annoying so you can't see what i did but i right clicked and uh chose find uh usages so that's the definition and the usage is here okay so let's see what this minute handler thing is doing so that is this inner class
And why is it an inner class? It's an inner class because that is going to allow us to call directly this this uh, callback. I mean, we don't even really need this callback, do we? Well, yeah. I mean, I could pass a I could pass a uh, text view in here. Anyway, so what's going on here? We we grab a handler. In this case, the handler is the main hand. It, it's on the main thread. You can grab a handler for any thread. You can create a thread and grab the handler for that thread. I don't want to get too far into this. Uh, certainly, the global, the handler for the for the main thread is a reasonable thing to do if you want to do something on the main thread. If you want to create a background thread, you can grab a handler for it. What does a handler let you do? A handler lets you post a runnable. What's well, a runnable? A runnable is basically an object that has a run function. Pretty reasonable. It's sort of a way of creating a coroutine or a thread or some runnable object. Now, what we're doing here is a little bit funny. You might sort of expect us to do something like this, like, you know, sort of, you know, val runnable is um, assigned to a runnable object that is initialized as a lambda. This is, this is the way I wanted to write it, basically. So and this, this won't work. So, uh, you know, we will, we will see some error. Yeah, like this, this is not a valid thing to, to pass in. So yeah, if we, and if we pass in runnable here, we get an error. And it says unresolved reference, and you know this is a local variable, and I can put it, I can put it up here, and uh, create a, a class reference, and this still won't work because this will say that the runnable is not initialized. Yeah, I'll just do it. Um, init var runnable runnable. Oh, I'm gonna need this whole thing. And uh, yeah, this says, what does this say? Oh. Okay, let's, let's build. Believe me, it ain't gonna work. Yeah. Tasks. Come on. I just, I just tried this. Okay. Rebuild. So you're saying, are you, what are you, what are you doing to me? App. Are you, are you, oh, you are kidding me. I swear I try that. Okay, well, look, even better. This is what I, this is what I, this is the code I wanted to write. And I, wow, that's really bizarro. Okay, well, turns out I can write the code I wanted to write, so... Good for us. The world's most absurd clock is, in fact, correctly reporting the time. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll make this private. Let's make it private. You're still okay. Oh, unbelievable. Okay, well, we, you know, we're, you know, forget about this. I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay, this, I mean, this is exactly the code I wanted to write. So what is this saying? This is saying I have a, a reference to a runnable object. I'm creating the runnable. This is a constructor. Oh, well, don't need that, fine. Um, uh, I am initializing this runnable object and with a lambda that grabs the current time for the minute. I'm not passing this in uh, as a parameter, although I could. 
This is called Minute Handler, so it's, it's got that built in. I guess I could have just written this as, a, as just a handler and passed this in, but you get the point. And then this is calling this outer function, this update minutes, which is actually doing the writing on, on the UI. And then what we're doing is we are posting ourselves in one second. And so this minute handler is at most one second off. This is again, sort of a, a random value that we chose, but one second seems okay. There, you just saw, uh, um, you just saw the, uh, the value change, the minute change, and you could see it sort of didn't change in exact uh, lockstep with the second. I think that's okay. I mean, if that were not okay, you could make this 200 milliseconds, it would be fine. So anyway, this, this handler is saying in one second, uh, repost the same runnable, but I have to start it initially. And so this is just post without post delayed. You could make this a post delayed if you wanted to, but there's, there's no reason to, you know, so you can say runnable and, and then what we say, like in one millisecond, it, it, you want to, you want to get this going cause you want to initialize it. So it makes sense to post it now, but then once it runs the next time it, it runs, you want it to run in the future. So you're delaying it by one millisecond. And that's the same as what goes on here in this coroutine where you, you just say delay. Now, uh, in this example, we're calling this update minute callback. You know, we could, we could just inline this. Let's just inline this because we're, we know we're already running on the UI thread. So, uh, do I have, do I have, I don't, uh, I don't think I have access to this guy. Is that the problem? Uh, no, that seems okay. And yeah, technically I'd say, uh, yeah, let's get rid of this run on UI thread. It's kind of good form. Um, if you don't know how you're being called, but this really needs to be called on the main. We, we know we're calling this on the main loop. So we have access to this. Let's just get rid of this. All right, let's see how that goes. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that, that should give you a sense um, you know, I'll put the phone in the background there. I should give you a sense of what's, uh, what's going on here. Um, we can, yeah, so there's now there's no more callback. So we're either uh, updating this thing in a loop and you know, this is our suspend loop. And we don't really need this with context dispatchers main because we know that we're calling this from within main, the main dispatcher. It's kind of good form in case we ever copy and paste this code someplace else, this code will still work even if we call it from an IO thread. And then, you know, in here, um, you know, again, we're playing a little fast and loose. I mean, we could do run on UI thread here and that would, uh, that would make sure, you know, run on UI thread. Uh, and, all right, let's, uh, our phone back up here. Oh, yeah, that still works. And so maybe in some sense this is better. This is better for. So we'll say. extra careful. Okay, so hopefully this helps to demystify uh, coroutines and uh, explain their relationship to handlers. In general, it's fine to use either one. Um, coroutines are far more powerful, but that's almost um, a curse in this case because you know you can really shoot yourself in the foot with coroutines. You can shoot 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 yourself in the foot with handlers too, but, um, they're a little bit, uh, they're a little bit harder to use. And so it's harder to shoot yourself in the foot. Okay. There we go. Either way, uh, 
you know, this is a, a periodic uh, way of getting some uh, getting some uh, work done. <laughs>